I have a John Deere lawnmower here that a friend of mine dropped off to see if I could fix for him. We know him from Emerald Beach. He also lives locally here and he mentioned on the beach to me that he's got a lawnmower that cannot get to run anymore. Now he's getting the lawn service and found out that I had fixed his dad. Wants to know if I could fix this one. But it's a John Deere tricycler which has got the cast frame on it. It's model 14 ST. It's got electronic ignition, 5 horsepower, 2 speed, self propel unit, Kawasaki engine. This is one they, before they painted them green and yellow. Looks like it's in really good shape. Reminds me of the Hondas of this type. It's got the 1 or 2 speed self propelled, it has a choke. It doesn't have a lot of oil in it. But what's in there is clean, but it's barely on the end of that stick, if you can see that. It's got a cork type air filter in it. It looks fairly clean, best I could tell. I'll clean that out a little bit better. And it's got an overhead valve engine on it. It doesn't look like those bolts have ever been taken off, so I'm not sure if they've ever been adjusted. He had taken this somewhere before years ago to get worked on, and he said it took forever to get it back. It's hard to find places to work on lawnmowers anymore around here. He also brought a Echo Weed Eater. He said he can't get the start anymore. Looks fairly new. I'm not crazy about these. That was kind of a surprise he dropped off, but I'll take a look at that after the mower. Gas smells okay in it. It's not a lot in it. I do see a little bit of stuff in there. It looks like this is a gas cut off and on here. Make sure all that is working. So first we're going to see if we can get this to fire. We'll top the oil off and then also check to see if it's getting any gas and just do some basic things, see if we can troubleshoot uh, the John Deere here. And this is what the blade looks like under here as well. It looks okay. You know, it's definitely got some age on it for sure. See if we can sharpen that blade up for him too after we get this running. It's got one of these weird uh, E3 spark plugs in it with the kind of the dual end there as you can see. I'm going to run a compression test on this and see what the compression first looks like. I feel compression in it, but let's test that first. I know he said he put a new spark plug in it. So let me roll this over a few times and see what we get here. So that looks like a pretty good number to me. We got a little right at 60 pounds and it's dry and it's cold. So uh, that's a good sign. The engine's okay. I'll have to get some of the specs off this Kawasaki engine. I don't know off the top of my head to see what the reading should be as well as the valve adjustments. But uh, I'm going to top this off at all, and then we'll check the spark on this. Well, I don't have anyone to pull this over for me, but I pulled this myself and I felt a shock, so I have to presume that we got fire in here. So let's just put some uh, carburetor cleaner in here and try first start, see what happens here. I'm going to go ahead and top the oil off as well. Well, it was really, really, really low on oil, so I don't know if this engine's got any kind of safety features or what, but I sure put a lot of oil in there. And I put some carburetor cleaner in the air filter area. So let's give this its first start here, see what happens. Our first attempt to start, see if we can recreate the problem. I presume the fuel is on with that. And it's a little difficult to pull. I got the handle down. Let's see what happens here. I got the choke on. Here we go. First attempt on the John Deere. And we got nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's really difficult to pull. Alright, one more time. Okay, we're going to have to check a few other things on this. One thing is really hard to pull. I think I'm going to take this valve cover off and get the specs on this 
overhead valve engine. Get a little more detail before I do anything else with it, but we have a non-running John Deere at the moment. And that's a code on this engine, FC150V-E609, that I'll look up here, Kawasaki. We'll go ahead and take this valve cover off and check the valve clearance. I found a complete manual online for this Kawasaki engine. Valve clearance should be 12 millimeters for both intake and exhaust. And you bring it to top dead center to check each one. So let's get that off and check those valves first. So everything's very clean in here after taking this valve cover off and I brought the piston to top dead center using my straw as the book recommended and it's a 0.12 millimeter setting for both the intake and the exhaust and these were very tight so I've loosened this nut here and then with this one you can back up and down left to right so I'm going to adjust both of these to the 0.12 so you get your feeler gauge where it's just rubbing in there like that and then let's tighten this nut here very carefully and this is the way it should look like that we can slide it in there so that one's done so let's go to the other one and I got the top one the same way got that adjusted so we're going to tighten that down as well very clean engine So now we got the bottom and the top adjusted like it should be. I couldn't even get that in there earlier. So that looks good. I'm going to put the, clean this up a bit and put the valve cover back on. I think we've done all we can do with the valves adjustment. Well, these have been adjusted now. I'm going to kind of roll this engine around and see how it looks. And that looks pretty good. Let's get that valve cover back on. Well, it's gotten a little bit late here, but I did want to try to at least give this a start again, or attempt, after I put the valve cover back on and adjusting the valves. So let's just give this a quick try here. I didn't put any more carburetor cleaner in it. Let's get the choke on here. And here we go, first time starting it with uh, the valve adjustment. Here we go. hard to pull with holding the camera. Hey, that's something. It's not getting any gas. So. Well, Took a few pulls there, but we did get it to at least look like it started, but cut right off, so it's not getting any gas, best I can tell. All right, well, we're going to work on this a little bit more, take a look at the gas flow in here, and uh, see if we can continue to get this John Deere back running. <laughs> 